Pagadian, officially the city of Pagadian, Filipino, Lungsod ng Pagadian, Chavacano, Ciudad de Pagadian, Cebuano, Dakbayan sa Pagadian, or simply referred to as Pagadian City, is a second-class city and the capital of the province of Zamboanga del Sur, Philippines. It is the regional center of Zamboanga Peninsula and the second-largest city in the region, after the independent city of Zamboanga. According to the 2015 census, it has a population of 199,060 people. Pagadian began as a stopover for traders who plied the road between the old Spanish fort town of Zamboanga on the southwestern tip of the Zamboanga Peninsula and other bigger towns to the north of the old Zamboanga province. Except for its sheltered bay and good fishing grounds, it was not a promising site for the foundation of a city, for it is situated on steeply rolling terrain. In the course of its local history, waves of different kinds of people came to stay, and eventually called among themselves, Pagadianans. The iconic symbol of Pagadian is its uniquely designed tricycle built to adopt to the city's hilly terrain. It is the only place in the Philippines with a public transport inclined at about 25 to 40 degrees angle. Geography Pagadian is on the northeastern side of the western Mindanao region, bordering on Alana Bay. It is bounded by the municipalities of Tigbao and Dumalanao on the southwest, Lakewood on the west, Labangan on the east and northwest, and Midsalip on the north. About 45% of the total city area is steeply sloping terrain of hills and mountains on the northwestern portion that covers an estimated 15,090 hectares. Mount Palpalan, Mount Timalan, Mount Pinocchis, and Mount Sugar Loaf are the four tallest peaks. Areas in the direct north and central part, have gentle to moderate slopes, making up 47% of the total. The remaining 8% is level or nearly level which makes up most of the eastern and the southern parts of the city. The urban area covers about 845.48 hectares. Elevation of the urban area of the city ranges from 1 msl mean sea level near Pagadian Bay to about 100 msl in the area of Barangay San Jose. The Tiguma, Bulatok, Gatas, and Balangasan rivers, drain to Pagadian Bay and serve as natural drainage. Due to its topography, most of the city's 54 barangays do not experience flooding. The low-lying southern and eastern part of the city sometimes experience flooding, most especially during heavy rains. Climate Located within the tropics of the northern hemisphere, Pagadian has a pronounced dry season from January to March and rainy season from April to December. The area is generally not affected by tropical storms and typhoons as it is located outside the Philippine typhoon belt. Temperature ranges from 22.2 to 32.9 degrees Celsius, 72.0 to 91.2 degrees Fahrenheit. The prevailing winds are the southwest wind that blow from over the sea during dry seasons going northeast, and the trade winds brought from the mountain ranges. Rainfall distribution is moderate from 2,500 to 3,000 mm, 98 to 118 in, annually. Barangays it is politically subdivided into 54 barangays of which 14 of these are classified as urban. Urban Rural History Origin of the name the city proper and surrounding areas of today's barangays of Muriki, Tawagan Sur and White Beach was originally named Talapukan, an indigenous word that means a place of numerous springs. The officially accepted origin of its name are words taken from the Iranan language, Pagod, to wait, and Padian, market, which shows that Pagadian had been a trading area in the past. Other theories suggest that it was named after a bird that the native inhabitants call Gagadian or that the city's name came from the word Pangadi, prayer, later to be known as Pangadian, a place to pray, or Land of prayers. The name Pagadian is also speculated to be derived from the Subanan word Pengadian, which means school. Early settlers The native inhabitants in the area were the Lumads, specifically Subanans. Then came Muslim settlers who converted the people to Islam. 
A sizable number of Lumads who refused to be converted eventually settled in the highlands. The early Bangsamoro were under the leadership of Datu Akab, an Iranan Datu whose daughter caught the fancy of Datu Makambang, Sultan of Taganonik, also an Iranan from Malabang, Tukuran, also part of modern Pagadian. He was the son of Sharif Apo Tubo who descended from the bloodline of Sharif Kabungsuan, the first Sultan of the Maguindano Sultanate. With the approval of Sultan Datu Akab, Datu Makambang married Bai Putri Panyawan Akab, the beautiful daughter of the royal Datu of Pagadian City and royal Bai Putri of Raya. Upon the death of Datu Akab, also known as Datu Mambalawag, his son in law, Datu Makambang, Sultan of Taganonik, assumed leadership. He established the territorial boundaries of the present city proper, from Balangasan River in the west of Tawagan Sur River in the east. Beyond the river of Tawagan Sur was the territory of Datu Balimbangan. At one time, Datu Makambang requested the assistance of the Philippine Constabulary due to the rampant banditry and piracy in the area. A detachment led by Col. Tibercio Ballesteros stationed at Malangas landed at the place and stationed themselves at Dumagak Island. The arrival of the soldiers restored peace and order, thereby attracting the influx of settlers from other places. Spread of Christianity Christian settlers started arriving in the early part of the 20th century, most of which came from Cebu as evident on the veneration of the Santo Niño de Cebu. The increasing Christian population prompted the creation of the parish of Pagadian in 1938 and was administered by the Jesuits, Columban and Filipino priests. The original Sto. Nino Church of Pagadian was right across the city plaza, on the site of the current San Jose Parish Church. The present Sto. Nino Cathedral is now located in San Francisco District and was built in 1968. Pagadian Parish became a diocese on November 2, 1971, and is a suffragan of the Archdiocese of Ozamis. Monsignor. Jesus B. Tuquib served as the first bishop and was installed on February 24, 1973. At that time, the Columban Fathers took care of the apostolic services for the first 13 parishes in the newly formed diocese. As of 2008, the Diocese of Pagadian had 24 parishes. Timeline Demographics the people of Pagadian Pagadianans, are classified into three, three main groups which is based primarily on faith and heritage, uh, the Subanans, or any other indigenous tribes who had been living in the area before the advent of Islam in Mindanao, b. the Muslim Bangsamoro, settlers who came from other parts of Mindanao and other places such as Sabah and Indonesia, and c. the Christian settlers who generally came from the Visayas and Luzon. Majority of Pagadianans speak the Cebuano language. The national language Filipino, Tagalog, is widely understood and is the native tongue of a small percentage of the population. Iranan, Maguindano, Maranao, Tausug, and Samal dialects are used by the Muslim community. The Subanan dialect is exclusively used by the Subanan people, the original inhabitants of the area. Remaining percentage of the population are classified as Hiligaynon and Zamboangaño speakers. As with the rest of the Philippines, English is widely understood and is used as the primary language for business. Religion Places of worship in Pagadian Economy Agriculture is the primary economic resource, with the production of rice, corn, coconut, fruit, root crops and animal husbandry. Special funding assistance programs by the government are made available for local farmers. The City Livelihood Development Assistance Program CILDAP, extends loans to those who need financial assistance for their livelihood. Production of raw materials like seaweeds, cocoa processing, cassava constitute a large part of the local economy. Small scale manufacturing of furniture and decors made out of wood, bamboo, rattan, steel, and plastic. Handicrafts made out of bamboo, rattan, cocoa shell, wood, marine shell, ceramics, and weaving. Pagadian Bay and the Outer Alana Bay, Iranan Bay abounds with a wide variety of marine products. Seaweed culture farming is flourishing in waters off the bay while fish ponds near or along the bay yields milkfish, prawns and crabs. 
a number of large deep-sea fishing vessels that venture into the Sulu Sea and farther off to South China Sea make Pagadian Fishport their base of operation. Another income-generating industry is mining in an area located 1.5 km southeast of Barangay Lisan Valley proper approximately 49 km from the city proper which yields gold, copper and molybdenum. Festivals The city fiesta is celebrated every third Sunday of January in honor of its patron saint, the Holy Child Jesus, Sto. Nino, which coincides with the feast day of Cebu City. It is officially called the Pasalamat Festival highlighted with a fluvial parade, regatta, trade exhibits, the Mutia ng Pagadian beauty pageant, carnival shows and a civic military parade. On every 21 June, the Ara ng Pagadian is celebrated in commemoration of its founding as a chartered city. As capital of Zamboanga del Sur, the city hosts the annual provincial celebration in September with agro trade exhibits, a civic military parade, cultural presentations and sports competitions. The Megayan Festival is a week-long celebration that coincides with the Zamboanga del Sur anniversary in September. It honors the tri-people settlers, the Subanans, Bangsamoro Muslims and Christians. Megayan is a Subanan word which means unity and solidarity. The festival is a showcase of three distinctly different cultural heritage in songs, dances, rituals of peace, foods and crafts, to foster unity and understanding among the three cultures. Environment-related activities, peace and development forum, and indigenous sports competitions are being held. Pagadian City also officially celebrates the Chinese New Year. It honors the local Chinese community. Places of interest The city is yet to have a five-star hotel as it is essentially not a prime tourism getaway, although a recent surge in the hotel and pension house constructions due to the current influx of visitors primarily to do business in the city is evident, such as the Mardale Hotel and Convention Center. Gaisano Capital Pagadian is the city's biggest mall in terms of land area. C3 Mall, City Commercial Center, is owned by the city government of Pagadian. It is the site of the old historic shopping center, where the nucleus of Pagadian's trading past is located. Pagadian City has a number of tourist attractions, though they are not as well known throughout the Philippines. Pagadian Rotunda, a circular park on top of Bulatok Hill at the apex of the F.S. Payares Avenue and overlooks the Alana Bay. It is at the intersection of the North Diversion Road and F.S. Payares Avenue, two of the three major road networks in the city, the third one being Rizal Avenue. The park features a viewing deck, gardens, horseback riding, and a refreshment store. Dao Dao Islands. The Dao Dao name is shared by two islands within the Alana Bay, thus the addition of Daco big, and Gamay small, to the names of the islands for simple distinction. Dao Dao Daco is the bigger island which covers 1.10 hectares and is a 7 to 10 minute ride by motorboat from the seaport. It has artificial coral reefs ideal for swimming, boating and fishing. Dao Dao Game is technically not an island, but a sandbar that partially submerges during high tide. Muriki Beach. It is just a little over 4 kilometers from the city proper. Swimming is allowed in some parts but is as yet largely underdeveloped. Mangrove and seaweed plantations are nearby. Springland Resort, a natural spring water resort, it has three, three swimming pools and a fish pond. The resort also has a multifunction hall and a restaurant designed in native Filipino style. Putting Balas, its name is the literal translation for white sand in the local dialect. It is classified as a white sandbar just five minutes via motorboat from northeast of the city seaport. Lord's Waterfalls and Hot and Cold Springs. These are natural hot springs in Barangay Lords, about 32 kilometers, northwest from the urban area. This is being tapped by the Pagadian City Water District as a water source for Barangay Kagawasan. Lisan Valley Waterfalls is located about 42 kilometers. Northwest of Pagadian proper, in Sitio Santa Lucia. The falls has a height of about 20 to 25 meters. The spherical basin, 20 meters in diameter, is ideal for swimming. 
Ditore Waterfalls is 14 km from the Pagadian Poblacion and 5 km from the center of Barangay Ditore. Manga Falls and Twin Caves. These natural attractions are located in Barangay Manga, 7 km, from the city proper. A two-layered cascading fall surrounded by huge trees, it is home to monkeys. The twin caves can be explored along the two-layered waterfalls. It is currently in the process of being developed as a tourist spot. Kendi's Cave is about 14 km from Pagadian Poblacion and 5 km from Barangay Ditore and not yet accessible to regular traffic as the only way to reach it is through horseback. The cave has large overhead crevices with two interior chambers. Mount Palpalan, the promontory overlooking Pagadian City. Several satellite transmitters and signal towers of television stations and communication networks can be found on its peak. With a height of 684 feet above sea level, it has a sweeping vista of Pagadian City and Alana Bay. Mount Susong de Laga is the literal translation for maiden's breast, for it is a nearly perfect cone, resembling a maiden woman's breast. It is located in Barangay Lourdes. Mount Pinocchis is located in Barangay Lisan Valley. Provincial Government Complex. This complex is located in Dao District, a five-minute ride from downtown Pagadian. The complex has a standard-sized oval track and field and other sports building facilities of which construction is still ongoing and the cultural village with every town of Zamboanga del Sur having its own show house. The Unity Park, a monument to the Tri People Group, the Lumads, Muslims and Christians, who settled in Pagadian, is located there. Plaza Luz, the city's primary public assembly area where the dancing fountain and the public library is located. The fountain has recently become the main attraction in the park with its lights and water formations synchronized to the beat of the music being played in its repertoire. Two, two, smaller rectangular fountains run parallel to each other, flanking the circular bigger fountain in the center. Governance The city belongs to the first district of Zamboanga del Sur. The local Sangguniang Panglungsad city legislative council is administered by the mayor, with the assistance of the vice mayor. It has 10 elected councillors and one representative each from the Sangguniang Kabatan Youth Council and Association of Barangay Captains ABC. Pagadian is also the seat of the provincial government of Zamboanga del Sur. Infrastructure Transportation Tricycles are the primary public transport in the urban center while jeepneys usually ply the city's rural barangays. Private vehicles comprises the largest percentage of the traffic. Buses, minibuses, and jeepneys are the modes of transportation for transients bound for the neighboring municipalities and other parts of Zamboanga del Sur. These short travel transports also serve the bus terminal which is located downtown. Airport. The city is served by a principal airport class 1, or major domestic. It is located in Barangay Muriki and Barangay Tiguma, approximately 5, 5 kilometers from the city proper. The airport serves as the only airportal in the province of Zamboanga del Sur with direct flights to and from Manila and Cebu. Seaport. The port of Pagadian City is served by shipping lines operating for both passenger and cargo vessels. Ports of call include Zamboanga City, Jolo, Siasi, Bongao, Sitangkai and Cotabato City. Integrated Bus Terminal. Served by two, two major bus companies and several other smaller public utility vehicles PUVs, i.e. vans, the terminal sits atop the hill as the station for both eastbound and westbound transport particularly for public transports bound for Zamboanga City, Ozamiz City, Dipalig City, Cagayan de Oro, Cotabato City, General Santos City, and Davao City. Utilities Telecommunications Philippine Long Distance Telephone Company PLDT and Cruise Telco are the two major telecommunications providers. A project under the Department of Transportation and Communications DOTC, the Pagadian City Telephone Exchange -E -E serves the far-flung barangays that other telephone companies are not yet able to give service. 
Major cellular phone service providers in the country serve the city. Water and power supply Pagadian City Water District PCWD, provides the city with potable water supply. Formed in 1976, the PCWD has over 14,000 active service connections and sources its water from deep wells and springs. Electricity is supplied by the Zamboanga del Sur Electric Cooperative, Inc. Z-A-M-S-U-R-E-C-O-I, from the National Power Corporation Hydroelectric Plant in Iligan City, sourced from the Maria Cristina Falls. About 77.70% or 42 barangays out of 54 total barangays in the entire city area have 24-hour electricity. Education Education institutes in Pagadian include Pagadian City Science High School Zamboanga del Sur National High School St. Columban College Western Mindanao State University ESU. Notable people Enrique Ona, Philippine Secretary of Health 2010 December 19, 2014. Antonio Cirils, former Secretary of Department of Environment and Natural Resources DENR, during the term of President Joseph Estrada, from 1998 to 2001, incumbent Governor of Zambayanga del Sur Province. Sister cities Kuma, New South Wales, Australia, established in 1975 through the Philippine Australian Development Assistance Program PADAP, being with contract with the Snowy Mountains Engineering Corporation, based in the city of Kuma, which undertook development projects within the province of Zamboanga del Sur. References External links Pagadian City Philippine Standard Geographic Code Philippine Census Information Pagadian City Geography, retrieved, 28 March 2009 Pagadian's website Basic Facts for Pagadian